going back to <coughs> our, our Navy culture real quick, how about our culture of fitness? I know on the Navy Times this week they talk about big PFA changes, and I know there's nothing official out yet, but what can sailors expect in that area? Well, I think uh, if there's there, there are a few topics that hit every all hands calls, you know, and I hear <laughs> Mick Pine and I talk about it all the time. Uniforms Un and uniforms and PRT, <laughs> and uh, and the aspect of PRT that's most frustrating is the BCA aspect. Uh, and so when I when I look at sea service and uh, we're out at sea with sailors, uh, it is it's a real challenge to to understand why we're throwing out as many sailors as we do for BCA. And, and everybody knows the rule, three, three BCA failures in a four-year period, it's almost automatic. Uh, and uh, there are packages that come across both our desks that we just, it breaks our hearts to see a young yeah. man or woman at 18 years, 19 years, and is just struggling to stay inside our current standards. And, and they're within a percentage of that. Uh, and the chain of command tells us how great they are at what they do and the benefit they provide to the Navy, and yet the policy is what it is. So we've decided to take a real look at it. As we were looking at uniforms, of all things, we, they, uh, we, we discovered that the, the last time we really assessed the body types in the Navy. Why are you today, pointing at me when it says uniforms? Well, it's me too. It's <laughs> me too. <laughs> Good. <laughs> it's our problem. <laughs> uh, but when we looked at that, we, f we learned that we hadn't, we hadn't done a study on uh, body types and how they might have evolved over time, and Lord knows they have, uh, in 30 years. So we're doing that study today to answer a uniform question, but it's also going to help us understand what we might want, what adjustments we want to make in our current standards. So we've had a lot of working groups, a lot of focus groups, a lot of great feedback from the fleet. Mick Pond and I have both talked about this at length, and uh, we're ready to make some proposals to CNO and to the secretary, and that's coming here in a very near term, about changing, uh, especially the BCA factors and how we incentivize better health. It really comes down to. Uh, I don't want to see you starve yourself and, and not drink water for four or five days just to get through that BCA process and the weigh-ins. We all know what that, the stress that that puts people on. That is not better health. That is just trying to get through it in inspection, and that, that's not what we're trying to do. So my guidance to the team was just do something that makes sense and encourage and incentivize better health. If you can satisfy those two things, then we're going to make a good proposal to CNO. So it's coming. Um, I'll, I'll, I won't break the news here because I got to get permission first. <laughs> I won't sleep a wink <laughs> until I hear from you.